Well, you never have to pay for gas, you get a great deal on car insurance, and you never have to worry about the cost of repairs. That's the upside of sharing a vehicle. CTV's Melissa Durrell takes a look at the oldest car co-op in the province, available on Waterloo Region streets. Colleen Loomis shares this vehicle with more than 140 other people. I save money, plus I feel good about sharing the car resources and doing something good for the planet. A university professor, Loomis says she looked into buying a vehicle but decided the people's car just made more sense, despite having to justify it to her students. They asked me why I don't have a car. Yeah. Yeah, am I too poor or, you know, don't profs make enough money? And, uh, or am I really a tree hugger? And I really don't come across as any of those things. And that's why car sharing is trying to put the brakes on that old reputation. When you want a glass of milk, do you buy the cow? When you want to drive, why buy the car? It's the same sort of idea. This region truly has a car culture. With a population of 500,000, people's cars only attracted 140 members. But they say that's changing and they are growing fast. We're striving for about 24 new members per year. And over the last two years, we've started to see it grow much faster than that. The People's Car says it's driving in the fast lane. It started out eight years ago with two people and one car. The organization has now grown to more than 140 people and seven cars make that eight this fall. People like the idea that, oh, you pay for the gas? Oh, okay, well, that's great. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and you receive a monthly invoice that's based on the time and distance you've used any of, the, any of the vehicles. So it's much like a telephone bill. It's not easy giving up the car. In fact, many suggest the car co-op for your second family vehicle. Car sharing tends to be for people who walk and take public transit. But when you need the car, can you get it? I've been a member for about two years and I've been able to get the car almost every time I wanted one. I think there's been once or twice that I haven't. On the streets, many are interested in the concept, but admit it's tough to break the habit of your vehicle. I'm sufficiently wedded to the convenience of having the car to be able to, you know, run errands in it when I want to and go out of town when I want to. It is difficult though in a city like this. Uh, it's a very suburban place. Uh, there really aren't that many residential areas close to the uptown, close to a place like this. Loomis says she rarely spends more than $100 a month. Compare that to the average car owner spending over $500 a month. In the end, it's convenience compared to dollars and cents. Melissa Durrell, CTV News, Kitchener.